Hello, my name is Dan Salvato, and welcome to the Yoshi Story All Melons Speedrun Tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to speedrun level 1-1 Treasure Hunt. I'll teach you movement optimizations and advanced techniques and all that stuff as they become relevant in the run. So I run the USA release of this game on the Wii Virtual Console, which is the faster version, using a GameCube controller. If you want to run the game on Nintendo 64, this video still applies to you, just with minor button differences. So before we get started, I want to mention that this game has a very important technique that requires you to mash the B button while holding the A button. I personally do this by holding A with the right side of my thumb and mashing B with the left side of my thumb. If this is uncomfortable for you, then you can consider holding the controller in the claw fashion, which puts your index finger on the B button and your middle finger on the A button while the controller rests in your lap. Try experimenting with both and pick whichever is more comfortable for you. But anyway, without further ado, let's begin. So I start by eating this shy guy for an egg. Notice I jump nice and high as I eat him. This is because if you lick while you're on the ground, Yoshi will lose all of his momentum, so we want to jump before licking. Yoshi's swallow animation also prevents him from moving on the ground, so we jump high enough to make sure he finishes swallowing while in the air. This game really wants to make Yoshi go slow, as you'll soon discover. Fortunately, we're speedrunners, so we're not going to let that happen. Next up is the first advanced technique we'll be learning. This is called the Glide Toss. It allows you to throw an egg without losing any speed. To do this, tap the X button, then tap the A button right after. If you're jumping as Yoshi throws the egg, then he'll keep his momentum. Also note that you can use L instead of X, whichever is more comfortable. We continue by eating the melon, then two more Shy Guys up ahead. Up next is a tricky egg shot. We want to break both of these bubbles with one egg. To do this, we hold X, then jump right after. We let go of X a little bit late to give the crosshair time to drift to the right, then we let go. This takes some practice, so if you don't want to grind it out right now, then simply go underneath the bubbles, which is a little bit slower, but it gets the job done. Watch how I eat this melon. I lick first, and then angle the control stick down. This is because if you press the control stick down first, Yoshi will ground pound. It's really easy to accidentally ground pound in this game in general. So make sure you press down on the stick after Yoshi's tongue is already out. I do the same thing here. Notice how I eat the melon through the floor. This is an exploit we do by first extending Yoshi's tongue out forward, and then angling it into the floor. If you just try licking the floor normally, Yoshi's tongue won't extend far enough. The last melon in this sequence is hidden underground. Look at the red cardboard crown in the background, and ground pound just to the right of its center point to find the melon. Here, we learn our second advanced technique. This is called the dustless ground pound. By ground pounding just before we land on the floor, we cancel out the landing leg of the ground pound, which is normally about 40 frames. The name comes from the fact that the normal ground pound sends a cloud of dust into the air, but the dustless ground pound doesn't do this. That's how you know you did it correctly. Here's the entire sequence at full speed. Okay, moving on. Most of the long-winded stuff is in the beginning, so we'll pick up the pace a bit. We ground pound to flip over the elephant. A dustless ground pound won't work here because it doesn't have any power. Next, jump onto the info block to the top red ball. The trigger for the next melon is directly above the red ball, so we want to jump and hit the trigger instead of just moving straight forward. Then we eat the melon as we land. But look at how Yoshi's swallow animation traps him on the ground before we can move forward. Well, we can cancel the swallow animation by tapping the B button right when we eat the melon. So, you double tap B to eat something without any swallow lag. You'll be doing this a lot. The next melon is a tiny bit to the right of the center point of the green crown in the background. Don't use a dustless here because we need to flip over the elephant. Jump up and eat the melon, and mash B a few more times to gain some extra height and clear the elephant in one jump. To keep my speed, I jump while selecting my path on this intersection. I angle the control stick just a tiny bit down, which puts me on the bottom path. Then we eat these shy guys and their melons, using the double tap to cancel swallow lag. Glide toss this bubble out of the way. Then glide toss again for the next one. I slow down a tiny bit on this glide toss to make sure that I eat the melon and not the banana by accident. Then ground pound the elephant and finish the race. You could just mash to eat all these melons. We don't need the super happy fruit here either. 
Grab this melon and shy guy while jumping, then ground pound on the crease at the green crown in the background. Select the bottom path using the same method I described before. Then ground pound in between the blue crowns for the next melon. But did you notice how I charged the egg right before ground pounding? This increases the frame window of the dustless ground pound because the game thinks you're in the air for as long as the start of the charge animation lasts. It's worth making a habit of this and experiment with the timing to see what works. Up next, I angle the stick a tiny bit downward and glide toss to snipe these two shy guys while ground pounding the point of each green crown to reveal the melons. This is difficult to master, so here's an easier strategy you can do as well. Next, grab this shy guy and select the top path. Ground pound the points of these two green crowns. On the second one, mash B a few more times after eating the melon to gain enough height to grab this power heart. Ground pound between the two blue crowns for the next melon. Coming up, we glide toss an egg to clear the way. Then jump while mashing B to get enough height to hit this block. Jump and mash B to eat the coins before they scatter too far. Two more shy guys guarding the crown melons like before. I glide toss the first one, then eat the second one while coming down for a ground pound. Ground pound between the green and red crown to reveal a platform that helps you break this block to get the power heart inside. Note that for the one lap run, you don't actually have to collect this power heart. Instead, simply graze your head against the block because you need to hit a trigger that causes the last melon to appear. You can either reveal the platform to do this or jump and mash B to get enough height to do this without losing speed. One more melon in between these two blue crowns, and the final melon appears out of thin air at the top of the hill, so turn around and grab it as it falls. And that concludes 1-1. To clarify, the full run is completing all 24 levels, while the one lap category is only 6 levels completing the game once. There are some route differences because 1-1 sends us to different levels in each category. In the one lap run, the next level is 2-2, so I'll be doing that next. Just five more levels and you'll have a complete run to practice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next in Blarg Spoiler.